Hello, this is Onyx Tarot, and today I'm going to be doing a message for the collective, so any and all zodiac signs. So let's go ahead and get a message. Let's get a message for the collective. All right, so you have the Two of Swords, Seven of Wands, the Sun, and bottom of the deck is the page of cups reverse interesting okay so you may have uh, a very important decision on uh what your next steps are in some type of situation um this could have to do with third party situations people gossiping a friendship group that kind of thing I feel like you've decided to do your own thing. You've decided to go solo. You've decided to maybe quit a job or stop hanging out with certain friends or stop hanging out with people who gossip or stop sharing your information with people who are close to you. And because of that, I feel like, wow, that's crazy. September is going to be the start of an amazing financial, just, just abundance from there on. Okay, you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. So again, I feel like you've made, you're making a decision um, or there's a decision that you're waiting to make. And instead of, again, listening to other people about what you're supposed to be doing, and let, instead of, you know, allowing, you know, people to have a part of your next steps, you are just, you know, trusting yourself. And because of that, like I said, wealth here, like, Nine of Pentacles, somebody who's more than financially stable, um, self-sufficient. Ten of Pentacles, literally wealth, um, longevity, inherit inheritance, settlement, um, wealth, generational wealth that you could pass down. And then the Ace of Pentacles, like brand new opportunities for you, something tangible being given to you, that kind of thing. So whatever you're going through right now, where again, I feel like people may be waiting to see like what you're going to do tied to a situation. Um, also, this could have to do with like a relationship for some of you as well with the lovers here being clarifying the Street of Cups reverse. Um, I feel like... Hmm. Let's clarify this lovers. The chariot reverse. Interesting. So I feel like there was something that was delayed with like some kind of relationship here or some type of like offer here or some type of new partnership here. Um, why was something, and it's tied to other people's opinions or third party situations, that kind of thing. Um, it could be a living, uh, like a home or a marriage that was delayed or a long-term commitment that was delayed based on other people's opinions. Yeah, we have the tower reverse and the three of swords reverse. So I feel like there's something that you may have personally been, have been delaying based on like listening to other people's opinions or just not necessarily being sure what direction you should go in a situation that you don't you may not have a lot of experience in but i feel like you've left these people behind and now this relationship or this partnership or business partnership is about to thrive like really thrive okay so a lot of you all are going to be in long-term commitments or if this is not love if you're already you know have your long-term person this could definitely be business, like business dealings, contracts, but whatever it is, it leads to new opportunities and a lot of um, wealth here as well and a lot of just financial abundance. Um, I do feel like this person that you're connecting to, they like to learn. They're, we have Sagittarian energy here. This person likes to learn. They're open to your views, open to your way of doing things. This person is showing up as a king or queen of swords. So somebody who is very direct. I feel like people respect this person. They could have like a serious job as well. Um, this is someone who could also sometimes be a little impulsive or a little snappy um, with the way that they communicate with the Knight of Swords reverse. Um, I feel like this person ignores a lot of, like, people or people that don't, like, you know, like, this is someone who's, like, 
what do you have to talk to me about? Okay, you want to, like, they, they get to the point, not in, like, a rude way, but people may think that this person is, like, kind of rude or kind of snappy or people that this person is around career-wise day-to-day could feel like they're kind of snappy like they're kind of like serious <laughs> when it comes to uh their day-to-day -day, if that makes sense yeah uh why do we have the knight of pentacles reverse here five of cups also there may be people that this person has dated or worked with in the past that are disappointed that they never committed to them yeah, because th this person that you're connecting to, they like, they're somebody who like, they mean business. Like they're not, they're always learning something new. They are all, they're very direct and honest. They could be blunt even, um, but they haven't invested in other people like they have invested in you, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, seven of one or eight of wands reverse. So I feel like this person kind of like, if they get to know someone, they get to know them. But then I feel like they feel distrustful of people, or they feel like someone doesn't see their perspective in something, or they may see that somebody is a liar, and then they end things like kind of quick, like, kind of quick with other people but <laughs> either whether this is work or like somebody you're dating I do feel like third parties have something to do with this energy uh or definitely because I was like yeah because I feel with the higher font five of swords reverse I feel like this person is about to commit something to you uh or start a business with you if this is not love but i'll read it kind of like love but make it i mean if it resonates it resonates but um this person wants something serious and something very much long term with you and i feel like this is coming out yeah see look at that that is beautiful the wheel of fortune and the empress like look at that this person sees you as the empress or the emperor. They see your worth. They see that you have so much to bring to the table. Um, they really like your energy. Uh, they see you as somebody who's abundant. They could, they would love to start something new with you or have children with you or create a family with you, that kind of thing. They see you as someone who they met in the perfect time in their life. And like I said, this person has some type of long-term commitment that they want to give you and that they're about to give you. And... Um, like literally, like you can't make it up. There could have been something with a third party or people that were gossiping or people that were trying to make, um, trying to interfere in this connection, that kind of thing. And on the flip side, this could have been also people around you as well that could have tried to delay, you know, you uh, jumping in with this person into a, a, a work partnership or commitment. But uh, yeah, this person has some type of commitment to give you. The next five weeks could be very important here. But I feel like this is a yin to your yang, that kind of thing. Um, okay, so going next to the <laughs> next, going next. Next, we have the seven of wands. So I do feel like regardless of the fact you are very determined to protect your peace protect your energy you guys are actually showing up as a match here you're showing up as a queen or king of swords and they're showing up as a king or queen of swords okay they're you guys are both very well respected with your peers and people that you're around and people that are interested in you and i feel like you're at the point with uh in general where let's see i don't know who is this person who is this? Um, let's see. Yeah, there's a third party here. Why is that coming out? Okay, so there's a third party showing up as a queen or king of pentacles, okay? I feel like this is someone that this person that is about to commit to you, like actually, actually literally commit to you something long term. This is someone that they used to date or used to see. Um, I feel like when they were both connecting to each other, they were both in low vibrations, okay? Um, the Queen and King of Pentacles reverse. These are two people who, um, they're not aligned. Like, it looks like they're aligned. Maybe these people have history, but like, they're not 
like compatible if that makes sense and with that three of cups being in the reverse as the main part of this reading clarifying this uh what you're about to be making a decision on there could be this third party here that this person is ghosting uh with the hermit clarifying this king or queen of pentacles reverse yeah and i feel like as they ghost this person or as they stop talking to whoever the heck this person is um this queen, basically, this queen or king of pentacles, this third party person, okay, they start to be very immature. So why is this coming out? Yeah, because I feel like whatever commitment this person is offering to you, um, the star, it's going to have a lot of attention or this person is going to like, you know, there's something very serious here with this person and whatever they're about to offer you, okay? So um, this is interesting to come out. Um, let's see. Okay. So, I feel like this third party, I feel like they're not ever going to say anything to you. Yeah, I feel like they're just going to kind of, like, watch you from, from afar or watch on social media from afar. But, like, they're, they're never going to get on, move on from this, um, king or queen of pentacles they're just not but um i feel like to them let's see what their next steps are towards this king of pentacles reverse yeah so their next step towards this person is to they're gonna make them feel trapped they're gonna make them feel like but like there's something like like, they're going to try to maintain communication with this person. Um, Eight of Swords, their next step. So, they're it's like they're going to try to, like, put, like, an ultimatum on this person or, or make them feel bad about, like, not talking to them anymore. This could have happened yesterday for some of you with the moon reverse. We had a full moon yesterday. But, um, yeah, I feel like... Yeah, there's something where this person, your person here that is about to give you this long-term commitment, it's like they have really thought about what type of person and what type of partner they want to be for you. And they know that you are showing up energetically here as the empress and they're showing up as the emperor. So they know your worth and they don't want to do anything or engage with anything that's going to make that's going to jeopardize this connection from going forward because like i said this person's planning for some type of long-term commitment so um i feel like they're going to try to make this person feel bad the full reverse they're going to also make it like oh seven of cups like oh yeah it's okay if we're not together it's okay um but i feel like they're going to intuitively know that this person is not going to be with them long term they're just not eight of cups so the, the ace of Ace of Cups reverse and the Eight of Cups. Yeah. So things are going to move forward to you. The person that, you know, I, I like I said, I don't know why. Maybe this uh, was somebody that they um, were dated or were with or engaged with in the past. But I feel like you may know about this, okay? Like, because this could be somebody that you're not necessarily in a commitment with. So you may know about this. But I do feel like um, you both at the same time, like it's almost like you're kind of scarily mirroring each other. There may be people that, um, you know, you are close to that you're not close to anymore and you don't like let in your business anymore. Okay. And there's people that this person was close to or were friends with or, you know, engaged with or whatever the case is in the past that no longer have access to them anymore because they do not see the same thing with this person that they do for you and they also know that they're preparing for a long-term commitment with you okay so interesting and again this could also be since it's for the collective um what your person is going through right now so the sun i feel like you're gonna see that um things are just fine and I feel like if you ever had, if you had any doubts about any type of like third, this third party person, uh, they're going to be pretty much, um, 
you know, like you're going to get the answers that you need that like nothing is happening with this third party person. And I also feel like the sun is the happiest card in the deck, but it's also illumination. So I feel like you're going to kind of, I don't know, there's something that you're going to, I feel like you're going to see um, that a third party is all upset or something, or somebody from their past is upset um, that they no longer have access to this king. Um, or queen of cups that you're with and that they don't want anything to do with them so you that may be seen like in text message or something or they may tell you that this person said this to them but I feel like this third party person they have this like unexpected I don't know they live in this like la la land or something and I'm not just saying that I'm just like because like this person it's like they're showing some type of commitment to you. Maybe you had a title with this person, a relationship with this, per with this person, um, a commitment with this person, and they've never had that with this uh, queen or king of pentacles reverse. Like, it's something like that. And again, this message is, I guess, is coming out because this, uh, this third-party person is... There's either some type of decision that your person has made to not, yeah, to not engage or even not to text back third party people. Um, not that they were with third parties, but, you know, like I said, if you're not in a commitment with this person, you know, I guess people have free reign to do what they want, right? Uh, but yeah, there's something like that that is coming out and this person's like more so upset that, um, or will be upset, I guess, with this person when they choose to fully commit to you. So it's not really, I guess this is just what it's picking up on. Bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups. Like I said, I reverse it. I feel like you have nothing to worry about when it comes to this King uh, of Pentacles energy. Like they kind of have ended, exactly. They've ended their old way of doing things or having friends or being friends with people they used to date, that kind of thing. I feel like, again, some type of third party has no like um interest in like or you know they're not gonna reach out to you I feel because again I don't think this is a weird situation where this person's dating two people I just feel like this is someone that was single or you weren't really with this person and you're working on a relationship and then uh they decide they want to really commit to you and this first other person's like whoa how are you committing to collective like and so that's something they have to deal with. But that's what, that's what's coming out. Um, I do feel like your person is making a decision to commit to you fully. And you guys, like, you guys could both be in the Nine of Pentacles and want the Ten of Pentacles. And this Ace of Pentacles is coming to... Basically, you guys are, like, essentially kind of destined to be together, destined to grow together, destined to have a stable connection but there is some type of long-term commitment that is coming for the collective here so feel free to let me know your thoughts i appreciate you all for hitting the like button i'll make sure to do collectives more often and thank you all so much for watching